Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us today for our first summer reading craft of 2021. This is the Paint It Yourself Piggy Banks craft. If you picked up a craft kit from one of our libraries, you have everything you need. Uh, otherwise, you will want to buy one of these bad boys either from the Dollar Tree or even from Michael's or Joann's, any place that sells like a little ceramic figurine. Today we're just going to paint it and talk about the history of piggy banks. Okay? Before we do that though, uh, if you haven't signed up for summer reading just yet, be sure to sign up today by visiting longbeach.beanstack.org. You can create your account. We have a ton of cool stuff for you to do this summer. Books to read, prizes to win, glory to win. It's just gonna be a good summer, okay? If you've already signed up, be sure to enter the code SCARLET into the activity tab of your Beanstack dashboard so that you get a point for watching this video and for crafting with us today in hopes that you win are the lucky winner of the gift card at the very end of the week, okay? So, where did piggy banks actually come from? Well, there's a number of theories. The earliest examples of piggy banks actually come from Asia. For example, this piggy bank uh, comes from the Majapahit Empire on the island of Java in Indonesia. And in fact, they have one of these piggy banks that is 650 years old in the National Museum of Indonesia. Pretty crazy, huh? There's also uh, piggy banks dating from the Qing Dynasty all the way in China um, a long time ago. I don't remember exactly the year, but it was a long time ago. So piggy banks have been around in Asia for a super, super long time. Um, some people say that the Silk Road and other trade routes in between China and Indonesia and Europe kind of spread them around all over the place. Um, there is also another theory, and that one is uh, that in the Middle Ages, uh, Western Europeans actually stored their money in ceramic pots made of an orange ceramic that they called pig. You can see an example here. Originally, pig was actually pronounced pug, though. And then as English developed and became more modernized, um, the pronunciation changed to pig. So Europeans were storing their money in pig pots, right? It isn't long before you say, oh, look, it's a pig pot. Let's make it shaped like a pig. And then boom, before you know it, the modern piggy bank was born. In Germany and the Netherlands, piggy banks are actually gifted at New Year's as a sign of luck and prosperity for the coming year. So now you know a little bit about the history of piggy banks. Um, super fun to learn. Um, and now get a little closer and uh, we'll start painting this bad boy. Okay? Okay, so here we are. Um, let's go over some of the things that we're going to need and how to set up your space to be able to paint your own piggy bank, and then we will go from there. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is set down onto the surface that you're painting uh, some paper so that it doesn't stain up. Okay, I'm using here an old grocery bag, you know, that I've just got from our curbside pickup service, LBPL to go. Thank you so much for them. And I'm going to use this to paint my piggy bank on so that I don't get the table underneath. I'll paint it up. Okay, so I've got my grocery bag. You're going to need your ceramic figurine that came in the kit that you picked up from the library. Uh, this one is kind of like a llama. You might have also gotten a treasure chest or a unicorn, any number of things. You're going to want to need that. Next up, you're going to need uh, the paints that came in the little pot. So you have a number of different colors here that you can actually mix to create new ones. So you're going to want to carefully open these up very carefully so that you don't get paint everywhere all over your hands. You can see that some of them maybe have gotten a tiny bit dry, so they'll need a little bit of stirring. Um, but yeah, so you want to open these bad boys up and keep these handy. You're also going to need a paper plate in case you want to mix colors. So I'm going to keep that nearby. I'm going to put my paints on there. You're going to need your brush, which came in your kit. This is a tiny little plastic brush with super tiny little plastic bristles. Um, but if you've got another one at home, you can use that one too. Like that. You'll probably need a few napkins or wipes nearby. And then you're also going to need a cup of water um, in case you want to wash off your brush in between colors or even, you know, do a little bit of mixing colors. So I'm going to keep that nearby as well. Oh, and you're also going to need a coin to put into your piggy bank. Here I've got uh, 10 pesos, which is 10 pesos from uh, Mexico. I went to Mexico recently, and this is one of the coins that I had left over from my travels there. Um, so I'm going to put this into my piggy bank. It's worth about 50 cents, I think, but that's a good start to a piggy bank. Some 10 pesos. Maybe I'll give it to my grandma next time I go down to Mexico. But either way, I've got that going on. Here also is a sample that one of our colleagues put together. This is a plane, so you can also get a plane, and she painted it, and it looks, looks really good. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is decide what colors I want to paint this llama. I think, actually, I want it to be nice and gray. So what do I need to do? I need to mix two colors to get gray, and those two colors are white and black. I'm going to do white first, so I'm going to get a little bit of white and put it on the plate here. 
Actually, I'm going to do mostly white because I want it to be like a light gray. So I'm going to grab all of that. Be sure to get as much paint on the plate as possible. I'm going to rinse off the brush in between colors just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab some black to mix with that white to make like a grayish color. Okay, so now that I've got the color that I'm going to use on most of my llama, I'm going to start painting. Uh, when you make the color that you want or choose the color that you want, just, you know, start painting and uh, it's basically, you know, your world. I'm going to paint and we'll join up again when, uh, when I'm all done here. If you need a little more time to decide on the color, press pause on this video and, uh, you know, hit play when you're ready. Okay, so we're still here painting. It's gonna take a minute. If you wanna take a break or anything in between painting your piggy bank, that's totally okay. You can put it down, go grab a snack, use the restroom, really anything you wanna do. Okay, so I think I'm done with like the first phase here of the llama. It's kind of like a dark grayish, you know, it's kind of painted a little badly, but you know what? We're in a time crunch here today. So the next thing I'm going to do is try to fill in a couple of the little holes where, you know, maybe you need a little bit more paint. And I'm gonna decide that I'm gonna paint the head a whole different color. I'm thinking, um, I'm not sure, maybe yellow. I feel like that would be pretty cool. Um, for your llama, you wanna be sure to leave, or for your piggy bank, be sure to leave a little place where you can actually grip it. So I'm gonna grab it right here so that I can paint the head a whole different color. And I think I'm gonna do yellow. I'm gonna dry off my brush a little bit in between colors. And I think I'm gonna do yellow because to me that seems like it would make it like, you know, a Pokemon or something, like an electric type Pokemon. So I'm just gonna, you know, paint this thing yellow, basically. You can do any color you want though. And then be sure to spread the paint around nice and evenly. There we go. So 
there is my llama. Pretty cool, right? So you can see I've got all the colors painted there and it looks like it dried actually pretty fast. So I could probably even put my 10 pesos in there right now. And there it is. There is your piggy bank. You take your time. Hopefully yours comes out a lot better than mine. Um, but yeah, that's it folks. All right, everybody. So we're pretty much done with our piggy banks. Um, if you're not done, don't worry. You just keep on painting. Take your time, no rush. This video has to end sometime though, so I'm done, right? Um, you can see that I've got my electric type Pokemon little like llama thing going on here. Um, I've got a little coin inside, my 10 pesos. Um, and yeah, so you can either use this to store your own money or give it away to a friend or to a family member. It's all good. Um, it's a custom made piece of ceramic art that you have made. Um, yeah. So if you haven't entered the activity code into the Beanstack activity tab uh, to get a point for watching this video, be sure to enter the code SCARLET. It is down here. Um, and then that way you get a point for watching the video with us and crafting with us today. Um, aside from that, I've got nothing else except keep on reading, keep on having fun this summer, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Take care.